Hey, hey what's, what's up, you guys? guys? I'm Leah. I'm Sophia. And today we're going to be talking about one of our favorite shows at the moment called Storage <laughs> Wars. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Um, so basically the premise of the show is like these like cast, like ragtag cast of characters <laughs> who bid on um, advantage storage lockers in Southern California. Mm -hmm. And so they all show up to look at the lockers and they get five minutes to look inside the locker but they can't go in so a lot of them will like bring flashlights to like try to get a better look um and then after five minutes they start bidding on it and their highest bidder options. wins but to get into like kind of our favorite characters um, we have dan who is the auctioneer and his wife lisa <laughs> we think her name's lisa <laughs> She's not very good at auctioneering. She's, she's pretty bad at it. Leave. No, hey, you do really great when you say pay the lady, but like leave the auctioneering thing <laughs> to Dan, maybe. Next up we have Dave, Dave Hester. Um he So Dave is like kind of the antagonist of the series. You know, you gotta have one. Um and so he comes in with his outfit and his like tons of branded trucks. A lot of the time what he will do is like either bid up people on really bad lockers or like um take lockers for really cheap that like people thought were trash but then like they're actually full of like really good stuff mm -hmm. um like he made like thirty thousand dollars on this like locker full of books yeah um what else oh he got like those vending machines that were worth really Ooh, that a was lot a really of money good too because no one wanted to like deal with a volume of vending machines that was in there so he like he put his, his trucks to work, mm -hmm. his guys. Yeah, definitely because, like, he's the most established yeah. of them all. Yeah, I think, like, prior to the show, he'd already been doing it for, like, what, like, it was, like, 20 years or mm -hmm. something. So, he definitely has an advantage there. Yeah, so he's amazing. I want to be him for Halloween next year. Um, um, yeah. yeah. So, next up, we've got Daryl, slash, also his son, um, who sometimes makes guest appearances they're like in our opinion the dumbest <laughs> um and like definitely the worst end up overpaying for really bad stuff a lot yeah. of the time and like a lot of times the other people will try to like trick them into buying something bad but they like don't realize that they're being tricked so they think that they like played them yeah like, it'll dumb. do like the little cut interviews and be like that's what happens when you mess with Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you are about to lose a thousand dollars on this locker. And Daryl's always super, super sunburned. He has like a like a glasses sunburn light all the time. <laughs> I think a lot of these people, but a, they all have like stores, and that's how they like make back their money. Mm -hmm. Um. So next up, we have Barry, as you just mentioned. Um. He like is independently wealthy, we believe, because. He wastes money on a lot of shit. <laughs> he just wastes a lot of money on random things. Um, like he'll, he's known in the show as the collector. And so he um, will keep things that he finds. Like instead of like making money, we saw one that I think it was like some sort of sculpture um, that was like worth $6,000 and he just decided to keep it. Um, and like, <laughs> he has kind of the wackiest stunts of the whole crew. Uh, For example, one day, because of, like, the rule that you can't go inside the lockers during the five minutes, he brought his drone and his drone guy <laughs> to, like, fly into the locker. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that was one of his, his many theatrics. Yeah. And, like, um, on one of the season premieres, he came in, like, a, like a horse-drawn carriage. <laughs> Yeah. So we liked that one as well. Mm -hmm. And he, like, has a guy for everything. Yeah. Like, he's like, let me take you to this guy to get it appraised. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, the most, like, obscure but, like, also low-key famous person, uh -huh. like, in the field. And he refers to them all as his buddy. He's like, oh, I'll take it to my buddy. Like, what's his name? Like, and he'll, like... And then next up we have a couple, um, Jared and Brandy. Um, we think that Jared is a pretty bad buyer and he doesn't really know what he's doing. And that often gets them into trouble. Um, we think Brandy's really smart, but Jared just, like, doesn't listen to her. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's low-key, like, really mean because he, yeah. honestly, like, his two goals, like, second is making money and first is, like, 
making his wife feel bad <laughs> yeah like at every episode he's just like his only goal is to like make sure that she's wrong about the locker like he was low-key rooting for her to not make any money even though it's also his money <laughs> yeah so, it's so silly that was interesting and they're divorced now because he for unknown reasons one of my favorite things that they've ever found on the show is these like little chicken glasses <laughs> um to like keep chickens calm when they see blood um which was like a little silly thing like they were ended up being worth money but like they were so little Ooh, i really liked um when dave had this like little porcelain box that he thought was gonna be worth like a lot of money um and then he ended up dropping it <laughs> like <laughs> on his way to get it appraised he like dropped it it was, it was and then he was like really upset about it and it was a little funny. it was probably staged by yeah. the show but that was a little funny it is Ooh, there was um was it daryl or... no i think it was dave oh okay yeah one of those two they got this violin it was like a good brand so they were like oh my god this is gonna be worth so much money and they took it in and it was three quarter size so like what it was like for kids um so obviously it wasn't worth that much which was really funny because mm -hmm. they were like really excited about it he like thought it was gonna be worth like a million dollars like and it ended up being worth like 150 and, he, and they would have had to get it fixed like in order to be able to sell it it was it was like a, a letdown, but also yeah. like a little funny. So yeah, we just want to give you guys a little recap on like what something that we've been watching a lot recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has been like our passion project. So we just felt like um, it was important to share it with you guys. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you've watched George Wars, if this is going on your watch list down in the comments. Um, drop a like. Yep. Let us know who your favorite characters are or like if you have any favorite finds that we didn't talk about. Feel free to mention that down below as well. A hundred percent. And also... <laughs> We found like the Canadian version, so if you re if you recommend the Canadian version, like let us know. Um, also, just make sure you're smashing that subscribe yeah, button. Yeah, we'll give you three seconds to smash the subscribe button. Better be smashed. Um, we'll see you we'll in the next. See you next one. <laughs> Um, or just like, not necessarily our favorites, but the ones that are there. <laughs> all, all of them. <laughs> all of the characters. There's not many. <laughs> um, Lisa, don't come for us. Um, I just thought that was important to note. True. And I don't know if we can see <laughs> His team's gonna come after us. Oh. I don't know. Fine. Fine moment, yeah. Thanks. Um, so like if I was a chicken, you know, like. Mm hmm. <laughs> Trying to think. Oh, yeah, he does. Um, you want to give an example? Um, that can be your part. But I feel like this entire video has been my part. That's. Beep. I was going to explain how it works, but they know what bidding is. Um, um I mean, you can <laughs> put it in there. Um, and yeah, he just like. He gets in there. Last one? Yeah. Is this me or you? You can go for it. Okay. I know your no little way. team is great. You could say the drone one. Which one? The drone. Drone. Um. But. <laughs> um. Yeah. I see this whole video idea is so funny. <laughs> like, it hit me all at once. <laughs> Um, yeah, so <laughs> oh, you 